Hey Dandelions, it's me Sandy, aka Sandy Dandy. Oh, and today I, is a video, it's kind of like the what's in my purse, if you guys have seen uh, people doing that, but today we're going to do what's in my pumpkin. Okay, and this pumpkin I got at Walmart in October of last year, and yeah, I really love it. Um, I wish they would have had like uh, some different, uh, like different colors. Maybe a pink one. Yeah, maybe this year I'll find a pink one. But um, I have this on my coffee table to uh, just put stuff in that I use a lot, and um, some things in here that I don't use. And we'll see what needs to be thrown out. Um, and yeah, well, so yeah, it is. Uh, if you. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's currently raining again. Like, we had, in May, we had three, three days that it didn't rain. And now in June, we've had two, uh, the first two days of June have been rain. So, oh, I'm kind of getting sick of rain. Hopefully, let me adjust my strap here. Um, hopefully, uh, maybe... Next week it won't be as much rain, but they're like giving two days of rain for the end of the week. So, okay, so let's get into what is in my pumpkin. Okay, so the first thing that is in my pumpkin is a um, wax pencil. Okay, so here is the wax pencil, and it is green. Um, this is for uh, doing diamond paintings. And you can also, if you like do nail art, um, it says on, it said on Tamu, which I'm not using anymore, but it said that you could use this for, um, like getting the like little nail crap, little nail gems on your nails. But so yeah, that, and yeah, we had a mishap with nail, trying to do nail polish. Um, uh, yeah, it just, I, I. Yeah, it smelled awful. I hate, uh, I hate nail polish. Uh, I decided, oh, let's give it a try again. Um, I put this nail polish on, and it just, it didn't stick right. Um, and it just, it, it sucked. So I just had to uh, peel it off, and now it's still, still there. Uh, so yeah, uh, but nail polish gives me a migraine. So I cannot uh, I cannot take uh, painting my nails I wish they like I know they make kids nail polish uh, like little kids nail polish I know they make some are like scented uh, with nice scents I wish they would do that for adult nail polish because uh, yeah this stuff stinks okay so let's get into the next thing next thing in here is a uh, sleep mask okay let me see if I can Get in here a little close so you guys can see. I don't know if you can tell. It's got clouds on it and it matches a uh, pajama set that I have. So, yeah. And it's just cloth and soft. Um, and we have a mask. Yeah, because I have a ton of these masks. Because uh, when uh, COVID started, can you say COVID? Uh, uh, now they, they don't like, uh, like, uh, I knew I knew you uh, at the first of COVID. Uh, YouTube didn't want you to say COVID, but okay. So yeah, I got a ton of these KN95 masks. Uh, I keep a stash. I keep a stash around here, and I keep a stash in my bag. Uh, my my Grogu bag that I take with me. So I always got a mask just in case I need one uh, when I. When I, uh, in February, I had a respiratory infection. So when I was getting over the respiratory infection, I kept these mat. I kept uh, a mask nearby so I could uh, keep myself from spreading any germs and I didn't take anybody else's germs. So yeah. Uh, let's see, we got ink pens. Okay, these ink pens came from Dollar Tree. Uh, I got these a while back. Um, let's see. I think I got these last. Yeah, I got these last year sometime. Uh, the last time I went to Dollar Tree, 
uh, when I actually found some stuff at my Dollar Tree. So these are, uh, I think these are scented. They're supposed to be like scented. Uh, so we have the Jolly Rancher one. Okay, so yeah. And I haven't used uh, these yet. Uh, but, you know, I always have lots of pens around because I'm always needing a pen. Uh, I finally upgraded. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I used to be old school and make uh, notes on, like, my grocery list on, like, uh, paper. So I, I got the note app in my phone right now. And uh, I finally decided to start doing uh, the notes in there to save... Uh, paper but yeah I'm an old school person I'm always making notes so I always have to have pens everywhere in the house I have to have a pen so yeah this is the Care Bear one I think this one smells like cotton candy okay yeah. okay that's cute uh, I think this is like the this is the new school design of the Care Bears I prefer the old school uh, I also prefer the old school uh, Strawberry Shortcake and Rainbow Bride, My Little Pony. I like the old school versions. Uh, the new school versions that they made, I just don't care for them. And this is a Mike and Ike pen. Okay. So, I think it, it by the color, I think it is orange. Uh, but I'm not for sure. So, uh, the next few things I'm going to be pulling out of here, you're going to see multiples of these because I have a bunch of these. So, we have glue sticks. Hey, because uh, if you've seen my haul video where I got that big box of uh, Elmer's glue sticks. So, we have glue sticks. Glue sticks. A uh, notebook. This is a scented notebook. And the only reason I still have this notebook around is because I have my uh, cheats for uh, The Sims 4. And I can't currently play like The Sims. I haven't played in a while because my current laptop does not um, have windows in it. And I cannot play The Sims on this laptop. Uh, maybe someday I might uh, get another laptop that has windows in it and play the sims again but I think I need a little break from the sims because I was kind of burned out uh, I could, didn't have like any ideas of families and stuff to make on the sims because uh, yeah I kind of got burned out but yeah we have that I need to like type that into my notes thing Okay, so we have a, um, oh, I can't show you the front of that because it has my uh, internet uh, code, but I'll show you like the inside. Uh, this is my internet passwords on the front of that, uh, but this is my uh, instructions for my wireless doorbell, and we have more glue sticks. Uh, we have this roller thing for diamond painting. And, yeah, it's just a little plastic thing. Um, yeah, if you got kids, you could probably use this for, like, Play-Doh, too. But, yeah, it's just a plastic, uh, hard plastic thing for uh, rolling across your diamond painting to uh, make the diamonds, uh, a little, the little jewels, make them stick a little better in case you're afraid that they'll fall out. Okay. Uh, allergy season. Okay. We have more glue sticks. Uh, let's see here. Let's get all the glue sticks out, out of the way. Okay, so we have more glue sticks. And that one decided to jump back in here. And... Okay, and I dropped one too. And Max is screaming because he heard me drop this. So, yeah, and this is the last of the glue sticks in here. Well, no, 
Okay, and Max is uh, Max is screaming. Uh, this used to be a earring. This is right here. Okay, shut up, Max. Okay, this used to be one of my uh, spider earrings, but uh, the back came off, so uh, I didn't want to lose it. I'm gonna. I want to make something out of this, so yeah, it just went in here. Uh, these bad tattoos. Okay, we have the bat tattoos. I tried two of these, and they did not, uh, these are from Tamu, and they didn't work very good. Uh, I may try the rest of them on sometime, and see if I can, uh, might do that today, see if I can, uh, get these to stick. Uh, they just didn't stick that well. I, the two that I did, they didn't stick. Okay. Um, this is a eye tattoo, temporary tattoo that I got from Tamu a while back. It's butterflies. Okay. I might have to try that sometime. Uh, maybe for Halloween or something. Or when I know that I'm not going to have to, uh, like, go out, uh, a lot, do this, because, uh, yeah, I, well, I don't really care if people, like, stare or anything, but, um, yeah, well, I'm gonna try that, because I bought that, I got two of them, I used one of them, and, yeah, that one I didn't use, uh, I have a Midol Heat Vibes pad, yeah, this is a lady thing. If you're a guy, you're probably going to freak out. But it's a heating pad that you can put on your stomach. But you have to put it on, uh, or your back. But you have to put it on uh, over your clothes. Because if you put it on uh, on your bare skin, it'll burn. So, yeah, I've got one of those left. I need to get some more of those. Okay. We have my bracelets. I need to put... I need to set these out because I'm going to have to go out tomorrow. So I might need to put these on. Uh, we have my hypertension uh, alert bracelet. We have autism awareness bracelet. Okay. These came from Tamo too. Uh, this is my penicillin allergy because, yes, I have a penicillin allergy. And my asthma bracelet, because I have asthma too, so, yeah. And I have some ibuprofen. I'm currently uh, not using uh, ibuprofen. I've uh, started taking Tylenol instead of ibuprofen, but I have some ibuprofen. Okay. And there is a pair of scissors in here. Okay. And they're kind of a... Uh, they're kind of stiff. I don't think I've used these before. But, yeah, just a little pair of... Uh, these are like safety scissors because they have the uh, rounded thing. I got a big set of scissors and these came with those. Um, these are... Um, let's see if I can open this. These are little um, adhesive things where you can... Uh, like double-sided adhesive uh, things to put on uh, stuff to stick it things to things okay um, this is my wrist guard uh, that I had to wear when I uh, spray my wrist when I spray my wrist uh, in December of last year I had to wear this so yeah uh, another thing of those little uh, double-sided adhesive things. And let's see, what is in the bottom? Okay, we have a rubber band. Okay. And I don't know what that rubber band came off of, but I'm always needing rubber bands. Okay, and my cat just decided he was going to knock. Oh, he knocked my Alexa off. Oh, thank you. Oh. He can be so adorable, but at times he can get into everything. So, And we have earrings here, like two random earrings. Um, 
because I'm always losing my earrings. That's why I buy cheap earrings because if I ever invested in like a expensive pair of earrings, I would lose them. So we have this little heart. Okay. We have a little heart and we have an eyeball. Oh, I love this one. Yeah, we have the eyeball. I think I have a matching eyeball uh, someplace to this one. But I love those. I love eyeball earrings. And this is a fake nose ring. A butterfly. Is that the butterfly one? Yeah, it's... I think this is the butterfly one. It's hard to tell. So, yeah. So that is everything that is in my bucket except for some uh, dust. So that was everything that was in my pumpkin. I still, it's still got the price tag on it. I paid a dollar ninety eight for this. Okay, and yeah, I don't know why I didn't take this off, but yeah, these price tag things. I don't know if anybody it irritates anybody else, but oh, these things are so hard to take off. I know they have to have the barcodes on them because everything's like uh, computer barcode uh, when you check things out. But yeah, they are irritating. Okay. And sorry you had to hear the, if you had to hear me peeling this off. But uh, yeah, it just irritates me. I'm, yeah, that's one of my pet peeves. I just don't like these stupid stickers. I wish they would like, uh, find an easier way to put these on or like just have a barcode uh on directly uh made onto the thing like the pumpkin and this is made in uh guadalupe this is made in guadalupe mexico so yeah yeah, I love this bucket. I wanted uh, I wanted one for a while because um, the ones I had as a child, uh, they somehow became a, uh, like, I may have passed them on to um, other kids in my family at some point. But, yeah, I wanted a new one. Um, and is it just me or am I doing one of those Mandela effect things? I've been watching a lot of those. When I can watch my, because uh, my internet is currently out again. Uh, but when I watch, uh, I've been watching a lot of those Mandela Effect uh, videos on YouTube. And is it just me, or does anybody else remember this? Um, when they used to make the pumpkins in like the 80s, didn't they have a hole in them? I'm pretty for sure they used to have a hole in the bottom. I don't know. You guys can let me know if you remember uh, the pumpkins having a hole in the bottom. Because I kind of remember that. I don't rem I don't remember me ever. I don't think I ever like used the pumpkin uh, trick-or-treating. I always used um, like a bag, like a plastic bag. Uh, I always would, you know, um, if you guys can, if you guys are old enough to remember like back in the 80s, uh, like grocery stores, like restaurants, um, uh, and banks and everything will give out these plastic, um, uh, trick-or-treat bags, uh, so you can go trick-or-treating, and I used to have those, that was kind of the ones that I used to take, and the handle would always break, I would always get so much candy that the handle would break, uh, but I never actually took like one of these pumpkins because I wanted a lot of candy when I went trick-or-treating. I always wanted to get the most amount of candy and I was like, you can't get a lot of candy in this pumpkin. So, yeah. So, what else is going on? Uh, not much. Kind of bored out of my skull. Uh, yeah, I went on a little adventure the other day because I just had to get out of the house because, um, uh, I've been stuck in the house for like two weeks. Uh, let's see. I did go out like Monday. Monday of uh, this week I went out. Uh, but I Friday I was like, I've had enough. I just need to get out. So I did um, 
got some exercise, went out for a walk. Uh, you guys will see pictures um, when my internet comes back. I will put, be putting pictures of my uh, little adventure uh, in my community tab so you guys can see them. Uh, I finally took a picture of the stairs, uh, the creepy stairs to nowhere, uh, so you guys can see it. Um, yeah, there was, used to be like this big uh, house. It was like a big two-story house there, and it was white, and it was so beautiful. Uh, but over the years, like people rented that house, and they just trashed that house, so they had to demolish it. And the stairs are still there. Uh, the stairs are probably really, really old because I remember, I remember those ever since I was a little kid. Remember those stairs being there. So I took a picture of those. Um, also, this orange glove. The last time I took a walk um, around my neighborhood, this orange glove was in the. Um, okay, what do you guys call the little in between the road and and uh, what do you call that? I call it a gully. Uh, so it was um, somebody threw this orange uh, rubber glove into the gully, and I, 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 I've been watching so much like Dateline and true crime stuff. I, I just thought it'd be like uh, cool to take a picture of it, so I took a picture of it, and I, it's currently on my Instagram right now. Um, but I'm going to be putting it on the community tab so you guys can see it because it just reminded me of crime, a crime scene. And I also took a picture of my uh, neighborhood squirrel, one of my neighborhood squirrels. This squirrel was like pissed off that day and I, I had to stand a little ways away from the squirrel because my squirrel, this, I, I can't say it's my squirrel. I did have a pet squirrel as a kid. Um, it, it ran into... Uh, we used to have like glass um, sliding doors uh, at my old house when I was a kid. And this little squirrel, like when we first moved in, uh, we just first put the sliding glass doors in. A uh, little squirrel bumped his head and uh, he hurt it. I think he hurt his little arm. And I, um, I was like really little. I was like maybe... I think I was like three maybe and we put it in a shoe box and we nursed it back to health and that squirrel that squirrel I don't think he's no longer living but uh, he used to remember me and he would come down and I would feed him and he got really really fat and I I named him Eddie uh, I don't know why I named him Eddie but uh, yeah, at some point I named him Eddie but the squirrel I took a picture of uh, it was on an electric uh, electric electric pole um and he was just like he had some attitude he was like <sighs> and i was like okay i still a little ways away of him but i wanted to take his picture so i took his picture uh i don't think he was too happy about me taking his picture but uh yeah he just need to he needed a little attitude change because yeah he was he just wasn't in a happy mood the other day so yeah um and uh, uh, not much is really going on. Um, I yeah, I went to the barbecue that is down the road uh, Monday. Um, it, it is really good. It's one of the best barbecues in my town. It's called Hog Wild. Uh, I always think uh, I get it always mixed up. The name of it I always get it mixed up with. Uh, there was a movie called Wild Hogs. Uh, that had uh, John Travolta and uh, Tim Allen in it. I always get that movie, uh, the movie title mixed up with the name of the restaurant, but the, ne the restaurant's called Hog Wild, and it, it is the best barbecue that I have ever ate uh, in my life. And uh, my, I am uh, related to the, the people that work there. Uh, they are, I think they're like my third cousins, because they were like second cousins to, they're second cousins to my, uh, mom, and, um, I think they're like my third cousins, but, yeah, they're really nice people, and they started out with just like a little tiny, like, stand, just a little tiny stand, and they built around this little stand, and now they have like a full-fledged restaurant, 
and it is really nice. Uh, the people are really nice and friendly. It's just it, uh, Memorial Day, that's when I went to the barbecue. It was just like really busy. Uh, there was a lot of people from out of town in uh, for Memorial Day, but yeah, it is the best barbecue ever. I love it. They're, I don't know what they put in their sauce. Uh, but it is so good. Um, the the only other barbecue sauce that I have ever ate that is uh, is like is good is my uncle Allen's. And yeah, he never like told anybody what he had in his barbecue sauce. So I don't. I think maybe maybe he might have told uh, um, my cut one of my her his daughter or his son maybe had the recipe, but. Oh, his barbecue sauce was so good. It, like, you just wanted to drink that barbecue sauce. Yeah, it was just so good. Um, so, yeah, that, that's pretty much what I've been doing and just staying in. Uh, coloring and Squid Game coloring book. I have colored, let's see, I'll show you guys how much I have did in this book. Let me see. I have colored uh, this much in this book and I've got my scrap piece of paper in here okay uh, because um, alcohol markers like this coloring book um, they bleed through the pages but um, most of, of the other markers just won't they just they are really good in this but uh, the alcohol markers like bleed through the pages so yeah, but I love this coloring book. Uh, I got this a while ago, and yeah, I just love, if you love Squid Game, you will love this coloring book. So yeah, if you love Squid Game, just look it up. It's uh, probably at any of like the big chain, um, like Amazon, Walmart.com. Uh, I've never used Target. We don't have a Target in my area. Uh but they probably have it. Um, any place that sells like color adult coloring books, you could probably find this on there. I got a good deal on this. That's why I bought it. Um, I wouldn't have paid paid uh, full price because yeah, I'm not one of those people that pays full price. Uh, working on my uh, journal over here. Let's see, okay. I don't think you guys can see it. I'm working on my uh, journal for the day. Uh, it's my glue book. And it's also my journal, so yeah, two in one. I just, um, yeah, because I I used to do just a glue book and just a journal, but I decided why not com combine the two because that's what I like. Uh, I'm also reading, currently reading The Living Dead. Uh, it has, it's all uh, zombie stories, zombie short stories. And it is really good. Um, I'm currently, let's see which one am I reading. I'm reading one uh, by uh, Stephen King's son, Joe Hill. And I'll show you guys my bookmark. Okay, my bookmark, it, it came from the box where I uh, bought the Phantasm 5 movie collection. And it's the tall man. I got this during Halloween. Uh, let's see, it was couple Halloween ago. I think it was in 2021 when I got this set. And yeah. We have the tall man there. And I use that as a bookmark. And I have my magnifying, uh, magnified glass thing. It's not glass. It's plastic. But I have that in here because the print in this book is like so tiny. Let's see if you guys can see. It is so tiny that I have to use that to read. Um, I do have my glasses, but my glasses don't even help on this print because it is like so tiny. But um, yeah, my copy of this book has got banged up over the years. So yeah, I'm going to finish that someday. I'm, I'm on page 194 and I think there's like 400. Let's see here. Uh, we had, there's like 400 and 488, 487 pages. So, yeah, 
this is going to take me a while to read. Um, I'm just getting back into reading again. So, yeah, I will finish this. And I'll, guys, I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Because, yeah, I think it's really cool because it's all zombie stories. And I have not found another book that's uh, like all genre stories. Like, um, like one uh, that I think I did have one that is all vampire stories. But I've never seen a book that has all zombie stories. So that is really cool. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, it's called The Living Dead. So... Yeah, I'm going to let you guys go because I have to pick my up my Alexa that my cat decided to attack. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.